so isa na lang yung hindi pa nagbubuka yung iba nagsipag buka na so ayan o oh. ang ganda ng orchids pangalawang bulaklak niya na to simula nung um, matanggal yung unang bulaklak niya Following up on uh, our cucumber seeds, this is day number eight. We have um, this big one here started growing about three days ago. Um, so it's pressing up against the top of the plastic already. We have eight of these seedlings growing out of the 12 or uh, 13 seeds we pa uh, planted. Um, so, so far we got eight seedlings, uh, which is a really can't good see, uh, result I can't so far. See. I wouldn't be surprised if we get, um, you know, uh, three, I can't see, Molly. two to four or more growing. Um, well, I can't but uh, anyway, got these eight growing right now. We're going to have, um, that's enough to build actually three mounds of uh, cucumbers outside, which will be plenty for us. But yeah, day number eight uh, and uh, eighth, eighth morning and we found all these seedlings here growing. That's beautiful. They're going to be nice and healthy. So ngayon na lang kami ulit makalabas ng bahay kasi ulan ng ulan at lumamig na naman yung panahon. Ngayon medyo maaraw-araw ng konti. Tingnan ko yung compost ko dito. ang umuukin na yung gumaganda na yung ano campus na ginawa ko dito tinakpan ko siya ng mga dahon, damo Kamatis ata ito. Malaki na siya. And, ayan. Palabasa siguro yan. Tapos yun yung patatas. tumutubo pa dyan. Oh, hindi ko alam kung ano yan. So, ayan yung patatas. Ayan, oh, may panibago pang tumutubo dyan. So, ito yung bulaklak na tinanim. Ayan, may ilang tumutubo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 So may 7 nang tumutubo sa bulaklak na tinanim Mga bulbs na bulaklak ito Itong iba wala pa Ay. So ito yung mga piece na 
itinanim ko o yan may ibang tumutubo na dyan so nilagyan ko na siya ng ganito para hindi kalakali ng hayop may mga pumupunta dito ng ano eh ng kakalkal so ito yung isa pang bulaklak na tinanim ko o yan o oh. tumutubo na rin siya hi this is got what you got a stick So, ito yung mga tinanim na bulaklak. Sana magsipagtubo siya. And ito yung Mommy. galing sa Mommy, compost. Mommy, see my picture. Wait a minute. Kalabasa yata ito. Oh. Pero nagsisipaglaki na siya. And yung sibuyas. Yung ibang sibuyas wala pa. Hindi pa tumubo. Hindi ko pa siya nilagyan ng maraming dupa pagka ano na lang pagka siguradong ar uma aaraw na talaga at saka yan yung sweet, uh, not sweet potato mga potatoes sisipaglakihan na sila okay sa ginata so magluto ako na ang ginataang uh, bilo bilo matagal ko na kasi gustong kumain yan ng bilo bilo hindi ko lang magawa So, ngayon, marami tayong time. So, luto ako. So, gawin ko muna itong mga bilo-bilo and then, saka ko hihiwain yung mga um, saging. Tsaka, lagyan ko lang ng kamote. So, ayan na yung pang bilo-bilo. Tinansya ko lang yung um, tubig para pwede siyang bilugin. Ayan o, trinay ko siya. Pwede na. Tapos nilagyan ko rin siya dito ng konting um, mga glutinous flour para hindi dumikit. na yung sago. Maingay sila sa background. Ayan. Binanlawan ko na ito ng malamig na tubig para hindi magdikit-dikit. So, dalawang coconut milk lang yung gagamitin ko. Magkaiba, si, magkaiba ng brand. And then, naglalaro sila ng hide and seek. And then, jackfruit. 
lagyan ko rin itong ng kamuting bagin saging at saka kamote ah uh, nat kamote gabi Kailangan halu-haluin natin hanggang sa kumulo. Pero ilalagay ko na yung asukal. Colorful. Oh. It's colorful, Mommy. Can you yeah. see it's colorful? You need to wash your hands, okay? Try ko muna ng dalawang cup yung asukal na ilagay. Hindi ko alam po sobrang ah, tamis na nito. Kumukulo na ang ating bilo-bilo. Tapos, ano na rin. Mga nag-float na rin itong mga bilo-bilo. So, mas marami siyang, mas marami akong naiglagay na bilo-bilo kaysa sa mga saging at kamote. Hinihintay ko na lang na lumapot ng gusto yung gata. So, palaputin lang natin yung gata and then luto na siya. Luto na siya guys. Kain tayo. 
Kaunti lang muna para hindi mabusog ng gusto. Mainit pa. So, may sago, langka, gabi, saging, then kamote, tsaka yung bilo-bilo. Nasugurahan pala ng tamis. Bukasan, ito yung itsura niya guys. Malapot na siya. And hindi siya, oh, sakto lang naman pala yung tamis pag malamig na. Ayan. Kain tayo. We're gonna cook a Godiva flourless chocolate tort. Now this just requires a nice little box mix. It just requires dalawang itlog, one third tasa butter, unsalted, comes with a pan already. This is a separate pan, so you gotta put the middle piece in, otherwise it leaks. Okay, so we start out by melting the butter, which we've already done here. We're going to add the mix to the butter. And stir it together for 20 seconds. Nagugas po siya ng kamay. I already washed my hands. Alright. Doesn't look any different. I add our eat look. Yan pa yung nakuha sa dumpster na eat look. Pour this into the pan, which we put onto a baking dish so it won't leak anywhere. Do you need to pour water? No. Nope. No water required for this one. As soon as the oven's done preheating, we put it in there for 26 to 28 minutes. 375 degrees. 375 degrees. It's... So, ito yung ginagawa namin, guys. The diver. Nuts! Nuts! So, ito na yung ating cake or brownies. It's a tort. Tort. So, ito na yung ating tort. Flourless. Flourless. Chocolate tort. So it's like um, we have to let it cool for 30 minutes and then we put it in the refrigerator for two hours and then we mm -hmm. could put the uh, icing on top that layer of icing you see there in the picture mm -hmm. okay see you after two hours Four. so they're doing their Morning exercise, five, sit up. Five. Six. <laughs> Jackie, you're not doing it right. Seven, Lay down. Five, Lay down on your back. Eight. Nine. Five, ten. Ten. All right. Well I done, buddy. Give it Hello, I'm a toy. Hi. Whose glasses is that? I'm a toy. You what? A toy. 
Mami ti. No. Areko. Hey, you are George. Oh. He was. Oh, my eyes are getting blurred. Oh, your turn. Oh no, I'm a George. You're George. Yes. George the monkey. Daddy, do, do, do. Okay, you can give it back to Daddy. It's Daddy's glasses. No. Okay, that's it. Masisira. Masisira ang mata mo dyan. Bye! Bye, mommy! See? See? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> mommy, do the part. Okay. Mommy, see my baby. Mommy, see the baby. Okay, up. Oh. Okay. So guys, ang prutas namin ngayon ay konti na lang yung natira. Yung mga nandyan sa rep, yun na lang yung mga naiwan sa um, mga huling dumpster namin. Wala na talagang, konti na lang yung prutas. Konti na lang yung laman ng rep namin. O, yung mga prutas, yung grapes, binili na lang ito ng asawa ko. So, dalawang bag yung binili niya. And then, ito, prutas yung nakalagay dito dati. Pero, na, since naubos na siya, nilagyan ko na lang siya ng gulay. And then, tinan nyo, oh, yung orange mandarins. Ilang piraso na lang yung natira. And yung iba mga hindi pa maganda. Tsaka lemon. Yung apples. Dati punong-puno yan. Umaapaw. Pero yan na lang, oh ilang peraso na lang dyan. Tsaka yung orange. And, ayan. So, itong tray na to medyo ayan, puro apples. Pero, dati, ano, umaapaw talaga yung mga yan. Ngayon, tricks. Paunti na lang. So, yan yung kagandaan pag nagda-dumpster. Kasi, libre yung prutas, tsaka gulay. Pero, ngayon, wala na. And, yung gatas namin, ito, kalahati pa yung natira. So, yan lang. Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. Today, we're going to make some vegetable frittatas. Uh, we made some yesterday. They were excellent. Today, we're going to try uh, baking them. They're actually chicken fried veggie fritters. So today we're going to do uh, chicken baked veggie fritters and uh, show you what we got in them. Uh, so I already opened and rinsed these. We got one can of garbanzo beans. You could also use chickpeas if you prefer. Mm -hmm. We got one can of mixed veggies. Again, I've already drained and rinsed them. Why you drain and rinse? Uh oh. Drain and rinse them so we uh, can control the moisture content of what we have. These veggies are no salt added. Garbanzo beans unfortunately have a ton of sodium in them, 440 milligrams per serving, so we're trying to keep that a little bit less. And then on top of that, we've got one half tasa of oatmeal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's quick oats or instant oats or old fashioned oats. Just mix these three together. It. And we use our masher, we're going to mash them all together here. <clears throat> so here's what it looks like all mixed up. The other ingredient that we're going to use today is, uh, I don't have the box for it, um, but we have some, some uh, chicken batter. Um, this is actually Larry the Cable Guy spicy fried chicken dip or, or mix. Um, but uh, you can use any kind you like, but this stuff was really good because it added a nice little spice to it. So I'm going to make some patties out of these. And you didn't put any salt or pepper in it? No salt or pepper or anything. The, the 
those um, it comes out pretty nicely like this if you want some more flavor you can always add some some hot sauce or anything you like a little bit of salt and pepper just gonna dip it in here flip it and place it on a baking sheet. We're gonna try to bake them today instead of uh, frying them. Let's see how they turn out. All right, so it, we actually made seven patties with this. Uh, the seventh one I put into our air fryer just to see how that comes out cooked that way. I put these into the oven now at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. So 15 minutes into cooking these, I decided to flip them over um, in the oven. Um, side A looks real nice. I'm gonna flip them over and let them bake another 10 minutes.